Well, access to information in Bangladesh has always been a very hassle-ridden process. Uh, let's say you want to apply for a passport or any other document, uh, birth registration, driving license. Uh, what would usually happen is a uh, citizen from rural areas, typically, would have to actually go through a lot of hoops, would ask a neighbor or a friend or maybe travel to government offices, which are actually far from where he or she usually lives. And it's a, it's, a, it's a long process. Sometimes it's expensive. And obviously, it's a big waste of time and money. Uh, sometimes they actually have to pay what is called speed money in Bangladesh uh, to just to get uh, information on government uh, services. Uh, this national portal, which took about three years to build, uh, about 70,000 people involved in the process, uh, civil servants and digital entrepreneurs at different levels who actually provided content. Uh, now it has about 2 million pieces of content from 42,000 offices of the government. So it, it brings the entire government under one virtual umbrella. And uh, uh, the benefit from the citizen side is that the hassle that I talked about is almost removed because this portal now houses, as I said, not only information from about 42,000 offices of the government, but also about 400 critical service delivery information, uh, where to go, how much to pay, what happens if you don't get the information or the service uh, within the stipulated time, uh, who do you complain to. So all that information is very detailed out in this portal. And we have actually done some calculation. Uh, today we are seeing uh, it was launched last year on the International Civil Service Day in June 23rd of 2014. So it's been approximately 11 months or so. And the number of hits has been growing on the portal. And today we are seeing about 2 million hits every day, on every single day. So people are gravitating towards it. Uh, number of hits actually went up 10 times in the last 11 months. And this is saving tremendous cost, tremendous time, and tremendous hassle on behalf of millions of citizens of Bangladesh. Right, the target group is basically everybody. The entire uh, population is about 160 million. About 70% of it lives in the rural areas. And those are the ones that are most uh, most benefiting the most from this portal because they had to travel the longest distances, pay the, the largest amount of money. Even being the poorest, the information access uh, was most costly and most time consuming for that target group. So I would say the biggest target group is the 70% underserved rural population. And also uh, in the urban areas, we have urban poverty. Uh, still about 24% of the population is under the poverty line. So that's another target group. What we developed is 5,000 uh, digital centers across the country in rural local government institutions and some urban local government institutions as well, where entrepreneurs, two digital entrepreneurs, are actually serving people with information and, and government services. So that has been the largest service decentralization effort. And we won a WSIS award last year for, that, for those 5,000 uh, centers. So th this portal, coupled with those 5,000, centers have done a revolution in the lives of common citizens in the rural areas mostly. Well, it's, it's gratifying, obviously. I think, uh, I think the recognition that this prize brings to us is, uh, is testament to the hard work that has gone into building this portal. As I said, 70,000 civil servants and entrepreneurs actually work together for about three years to populate content into this portal and they keep it up, up to date uh, almost uh, on a single on, on a daily basis so it's just a regular update mechanism that happens so this was his prize and when it was announced yesterday uh, there was this big celebration across the country I mean, think about the 70,000 people and millions of people who actually benefit from this portal the 70,000 people building it millions of people consuming the information that actually comes on this portal. So there's this big celebration. The Prime Minister was very happy. Uh, we had a press conference just after it was announced here, within minutes after this, at the Prime Minister's office. And it's, it's being uh, uh, broadcast on TV, uh, plastered on our newspapers, front headlines. So this is a big thing for Bangladesh. So the recognition is, is, is important. The other thing is also uh, coming to WSIS 
allows us to network with a lot of other countries uh, who are doing similar things. Uh, many are far ahead of where Bangladesh is. Many are probably uh, in, a, in a position where Bangladesh could offer some insights and experiences. So this networking for growing South-South cooperation and possibly triangular cooperation is also very, very useful. So winning a Wessis Prize, being here as a winner, being able to network with other countries in similar or, uh, I mean, close situations, I think is, is a very important uh, participation for all of us.